Hello there people, and uh, welcome back to our Let's Play with the Vaulters, Atlas Space 2's newest faction. We're basically where we left off last time, um, turn 18, not a whole lot happening, we haven't failed yet, which is always, um, always a plus. So we got Mrigashi, which is um, the system we last colonized, the Jergosi, and uh, we can build some stuff in. 32 turns of that isn't a sustainable thing at the moment. So I'm just going to go with uh, the Xeno Industrial Infrastructure. Although it's not the best one because um, we don't have temperate and we don't have fertile planets. So that means it would it will just give us um, a 10 increase in industry. Subsequently, I think we would... Actually, we do have a fertile... That's fertile. Right. Do we have temperate? No. I'm not entirely sure if um, it's worth being selective with these uh, things initially, at least. I know it can... Uh, I mean, the upkeep can gather up uh, later on. But um, we're just going to go with it as it is. So, let's see. We were going here to bomb, uh, bomb the pirates. Although... Uh, I'm not particularly sure how effective those dudes will be. Oh, we found the uh, Riftborn. I mean, we ha we know we found them last time. They found us, actually. But um, it was a very, very mysterious appearance. And now, um, now, at least I know there's a scout ship. So the thing is, they're probably somewhere in this vicinity, I imagine. Which um, might be good, might be bad. We shall see. Well, we have the latest political survey, and uh, we have militarists and industrialists on the same level. Yeah, I think, so the way I imagine it works, because I don't know entirely, is that uh, pops tend to have this uh, leaning right naturally, like uh, Population X is a militarist, because that's uh, their culture, but um, depending on what you build, um, their actual votes might get um, altered, is the word I am looking for, yes. Now the next one's gonna take 16, but um, we don't really have the dust. And we're missing extreme atmospherics. Let's see. Extreme at atmospheric. What does this do? Well, it gives us uh, antimatter capture and it allows us to colonize gas giants. So, um, why do we need this here? Oh, okay. Well, so much for colonizing Duyel then. This is one of the issues I uh, I encountered early on with the, the other play playthroughs as well. Um, Man, the air just expands the hell, and I was practically boxed in by another Sylphon, which wasn't too good. So, my idea is to, well, potentially explore this lower branch, although now that just became a bit more difficult. Considering, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna need to get it there, see if I can get it repaired, and uh, only afterwards move in any direction. So the thing is, we might have to look into colonizing arctic planets. Not ideal. But not ideal because you generally, I think you generally want like uh, jungles and tropicals, whatnot, uh, the food and industry ones initially, you know, so you can get your empire up. But um, with our uh, exploration ship bombed, uh, these dudes practically colonizing this and they will take it, they will get it before me, I think. Or no, not rather. No, 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 this isn't how it works. But the problem is... The problem is... That, uh... No, actually, I think it's doable. Yeah, never mind. So we have seven turns, let's say five. Uh, hopefully we'll have the dust for that. If they don't spend dust to half this... 
and even if they do uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it here since we, we are getting arid yeah we are okay let's um let's advance the turn duel isn't there as yet the construction of a high energy particle accelerator with energy measured in beta electron volts requires highly advanced engineering science materials and energy supplies Without this type of machine, exploration deeper into the subquantum mechanics would be not possible. I have no idea what that means. Not in the slide. So yeah, we should... Um, this is suggested. What does this do? Additional manpower, 100. That might be good. That's an in, uh, intergalactic supermarket. This is a uh, per. This would give us some extra dust. So, yeah. Or should we do. Now, let's do off world agri business first. And we'll queue that up, but we'll see what, uh, what happens. So there is the battle here. There are energy. So yeah, let's let's fight it. Okay. Good. Vengeance for the for the other dudes. Okay. It's gonna cost a ton of dust. I might regret this. I am not gonna repair it. Hmm. What's this? Oh, an attacker. Yeah, because we're doing that there. Okay, um... We'll put them up, sure. Um... So that's like 90 dust in three turns. I think we can ideally repair it. Yeah, but that's the thing, if I run into a hostile fleet and the Riftborn will attack me because we are in, um... Oh, we got science and exploration 3. Cool. Um, we are in Cold War. So, yeah, I think we can still pull it off. I'm gonna go on a... On a hunch here and, uh, yeah, just... Hope for the best, as, as per usual. Yeah, this would be nice. 19 turns, but somebody else probably already has it. And, um... Okay, so, with the elections, um, since we're a federation, we can choose to do stuff like intimidate citizens. That's a strong penalty to the, to the competitors of your officially supported party. And uh, reinforced intimidation, which provides a strong boost to the selected party. Now, there is little point in doing that. You generally want to do that when you have a law that um, you really want to keep. And there's some risk of uh, that particular party being replaced. I don't think that's the case, and I hope I'll be right. So we're not going to waste um, any of the influence that we have. And we were right, pretty much. I'm just not sure why there's just one. There are not there are not enough unlocked political parties to fill it. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so we have a couple of no upkeep laws that uh, would give us 
in this case, more things, but I don't think I want the negatives. Hmm, Leon. I don't think I want the negatives right now. And these things, um, they won't cost a lot. Yeah, the Star Boogie Bill might be good enough. Um, although no. I mean, this is 9. Um... Let's actually use this. It's minus 20 uh, system improvement time. Yeah. Okay, the problem is we have Les Pirates over there. And our fleets are currently chipping away, albeit relatively slowly, at the pirate planet. Um, should I? This is what? 79 to 28, 4367. I mean, it's gonna incur damage because I uh, was super wise again and just. Uh, yeah, no, we'll we'll let we'll we'll let them do their thing. Uh, I don't think they'll blockade us. I hope they won't. At any rate. Okay, so now that we have this, a host of incremental breakthroughs in trade agreements, cultural translation, and the handling of Xeno foods, together given the umbrella term of world agribusiness, permits diverse types of growth in nutrition, fuel, and material sciences. And we can uh, build the dust specialization, which is um, this. Every colonized planet has the option of building um, a particular specialization. Like here, we could uh, potentially build in, you know, exoscience stations to gain um, science. Like one science per population on cold and one science per population. Wouldn't be a lot, but it would still be a boost. And I think... Um, right now we can't actually. The upkeep is not good. So um, we might want to actually prioritize us since... Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're not building the other ship then. We can't get uh, further heroes. At the moment, because um, we don't have... What's it called? Hmm. The Academy. We didn't discover it yet. So yeah, we're doing. We're not doing so well on the dust front. Um, I might want... Yeah, that's the problem. I don't actually have any dust improvements. Which might be good to consider. Let's, let's do this and then multi-thread management, I'm thinking. Gonna lose some dust and yeah, we, we, we might even potentially lose the colonization option. Or no, since it's four turns uh, for free colonization. And um, the thing is, if they didn't change it, um, if we colonize a planet that's also being uh, colonized by someone else, we get their outpost. Which might be a good thing or a bad thing, depending. Now, the problem is, um, if I want to build anything now, I will incur dust penalties. Do I want to do that? Oh yeah, they're besieging us. This isn't good, but they'll, uh, they'll eventually back off, I think. This will be free food per original population. I'm not sure if they count the Sisters of Mercy as that. Um, it would be a very nice thing to have, definitely. Um, it'll take five turns, so the upkeep won't take a, a bust. Let's uh, let's see. Yeah, they're they're absolutely ecstatic. Um, 
I'm thinking... I'm thinking we, we leave this without one, for the time being at least. Um, and see where it goes. We should befriend these dudes. Let's praise them a bit. That's four per turn. We can only sabotage these guys with uh, a thing or call for a non-aggression pack. I might want to wait to do that. I'm also not sure of the law um, with the improvements is really a good idea at the moment. Oh, we're getting 25 dust from somewhere. From Devoted. Yeah, because uh, we have high approval. Okay, I could live with that. This means we could potentially also... Mm, we don't need food here. Not at the moment, I think. Fertile, sterile, sterile, hot. And we have strategic-ish. Yeah, when it comes to efficiency, this isn't the best place to go. Huh. Portals also cost a lot, so if you're not doing well with dust, I imagine um, you'll want to be very, very selective. We'll wait for the dust improvement, I'm thinking. Yes, yes. Mind Matters, a brilliant inventor from the Dorado system, has created a wondrous piece of technology. A neural device that allows one to temporarily control the thoughts and actions of another. Unfortunately, the inventor only created one, and he apparently passed away shortly after testing it for the first time. There is a bit of hullabaloo over what to do with the device next. Um, so we can get some... Some approval, which we don't really need. Or confiscate it. Yeah, we're gonna confiscate it to get the experience on the heroes. There's a battle going on. Should be safe. But yeah, they will start to chip off at our thing. But we are bombing them. And uh, we're not going to initiate the land battle until later. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna wait until the Astro Finance pairs. Okay. So it's luxury deposits and uh Yeah, we'll build it there, oddly enough. Um It's luxury deposit, right? Yeah. So we should have um enough here. We should also look into colonizing Dorado, too. Mm -hmm. This wasn't a good choice. I'm, I'm just now realizing. Um, no it wasn't. Oh, the dust generating ones don't particularly cost half keep. It would be a bit silly, so um, we're gonna go with them. Dakil would be... would it, though? Can I see the slots? I can't see the pop slots, but... Oh yeah, it's huge, large. It'd be a nice science. Huh. Okay. Um... I am currently considering, uh, just... Damn, I won't be able to colonize these things. Why not the tiny arid? I'm an idiot. Just realizing. So they already have an outpost, goddammit. So I can't colonize it? What? Okay. This is strange. I'm pretty sure, um... 
I could colonize the same planet as someone else and get it. I also got their outpost. I might have been in an alliance. Um, so yeah, I might have gotten that wrong. We'll wait and see. Then we'll figure out where to go. It's stuff like this that generally kills stuff. Um, because we're messing up the early game, I think, quite a bit. Yeah, we're, we're behind. We're way behind. Yeah, not good. Not good. Arctic. No, it's pretty far off, too. We'll see what happens next turn. Cool. Free colonization, but we can't do it. Great. So yeah, I'm not sure if they changed it, if uh, the guys simply can't colonize anything else. So I, I should, like, have done extreme atmospherics then. How much will it take? 14 turns. No, 12 now. Theirs is gonna be ready in 9. Well, this isn't good. Hmm. I did preface this with saying that uh, I have no real clue what I'm doing, and it it's apparently coming true. It's coming true, god damn it. Yeah. So yeah, the the We can't really do extreme atmospherics and we'd colonize gas giant, which would be huge. It would give us a system and we would have a forest nearby. How about the forest? Hmm. No? I'm not getting a lot of it. I'm not sure why it's not showing me. It's telling me that the system is already colonized, which is which is yeah, it's what baffles me to be fair. Um Well, this is the home of Kappa, so this is exactly their home system. Damn. So I'm thinking we could use some probes right now in these general directions. That's an isolated node. We can't do much with it. Mizar isn't a good idea. It's a small arid. Hmm. Why did I send you guys here? Oh yeah, you're going there because... Because of reasons, I guess. Can we get anything on Quorum though? Savannah, Arctic, Septies, no. And maybe the Savannah. Hmm. Yeah, this is a very difficult choice. Um, I don't think there's much reason to stick around. I mean, it tells me it's unavailable, so ideally I could colonize this. It's just these dudes happen to have an outpost. So, um... Do I keep it for here? It's 61, it's gonna take a while. Is it choice? Yeah, here is where that other exploration ship would have come in handy. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make another uh, exploration ship. And look for free movement. Did we do the free movement? 
Yeah, we did. So we should boost the exploration ship here. It'll take two turns anyway. Not sure I want to put push the Argozi so far, so um, I'll take that avenue. What is your objective? Mm, they don't like the fact that my fleets are there. I don't intend to keep them, so you should be pretty, pretty chill. Some things in this cosmos we have come to understand. You are not one of them. What do you want? I don't think calling for peace right now is a good idea. It would be just, I mean, I don't want to fight him necessarily. Um, I discovered the Mavros, pragmatists and shipbuilders. Now these dudes would be nice to have. We're also losing influence, so I think I'm going to go ahead and abolish that. Yeah. We got the multi-thread management. In order to handle the speed and complexity of a star-bound economy, new management processes are required. One of these uses multiple professionals working in parallel on the same logistics and procurement tasks. Handling multiple concurrent issues in real time. Handling, rather. And we'll be able to colonize the gas giant. Um, which isn't the case here. Is the gas frozen? Shouldn't it be this? No. That's a different. I'll just go ahead and assume that we can't colonize this. So, this is slowly being chipped away at. Um, it's going to go faster with these dudes, although their manpower isn't extremely great. We have 20% of the galaxy explored. We have the new ship. We've also opened up the um, economy and trade. We're going to take a look at what the, um, um, the thing is. Collect the fleet instead. Cool. I knew that. Okay. So this is gonna take four turns now because we abolished the law. We're also losing dust again. I think we are losing dust, yeah, because the Empire approval keeps dropping for some reason. So these dudes aren't um seed. But they are getting overpopulated. So. That's a problem. We can't yet build the system. Oh yeah, we can build the system improvement. Well. What do we have? 16. 60 industry. 69 actually. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go with this. Let's do that. That's gonna give us a spaceport, which in turn might actually mean that uh, we'll be able to move some pops around if needed. Also got the smart T repair bots. Okay, what direction do I want to go in? Uh, this. So we don't want to sit here. The dudes will most likely attack us. They won't take too kindly to being, um... Having friends there. Okay. Do I really want to do extreme atmospherics now though? No, not really. I might want to, um... Do some more sciencey things. Beforehand. We are losing dust. Not sure if the Acad the Academy Embassy is worth doing prior to um well anything else. So this is the level three in one of your systems. Three unique star system improvements. This will give us some dust. Five hundred it's it's not enough. Yeah, let's go with the marketplace actually.
And the impact was sites. No, yeah, we need more science. Eh. Damn, this is turning out to be more of a mess than I actually anticipated. Um, let's see. Baron. I also can't type, apparently. Baron. Colonized Baron. Planetary colonization. Adaptive bureaucracies. What does this give us? A unique improvement. Okay. Do we have other Barons? We have an Ash. Now, does this have Baron? No, it has Arctic and East. We'll go with that. Now, if you happen to be very efficiency inclined and uh, are hoping for a very efficient playthrough which teaches and whatnot, um, this isn't <laughs> the place for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I guess. Naos. It's a small desert and a small forest. Uh... We'll go have a look for the curiosities, I guess. We're now cordial with the Epistuses. Ruben, hear my last cry. What well, looked like a huge asteroid approaching one of your system's stars turned out to be a fragment of an ancient planet that burst ages ago. What makes it different are the remains of strange alien structures on it. What will you do? Before the planetary fragments flames into the sun. So we can get science or approval, we can get influence and dust, or we could get a random science. I think we're gonna go with the 10% science thing, although it's not a lot, it probably won't change anything. But we'll also get the approval, so I'm hoping that changes something somewhere, maybe? Yeah, they're also colonizing the hell out of this. Eh, this doesn't feel good for us. Let's send the probe in that direction. And do their curiosities. Ah, we got some antimatter. These are ruins. There are ruins in the system. Old enough and sophisticated enough that they must have come from the Endless. There are machines within machines, some of which are still running, and others that are so alien you are not sure how to tell if they are running or not. It will take time to investigate properly. That is, if you don't just take the dust and run. So we just got a 10% uh, science increase. With an 80%. Nah, I'm gonna go with the investigation. We're not loading. Yeah, getting those dudes out is gonna take a while. Does this guy have manpower? Uh, not a whole lot, just some poor people. That's not gonna help us. To be completely fair and honest. Hmm. I'll, I'll go ahead and build a colonial exchange. Go ahead and build an intergalactic supermarket here. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, doing that wouldn't be bad. Although this would be better. Let's do that after the colony. Yeah. Okay. Let's move it here. That's not a good idea. anyway? Yeah, we lose anyway. And we, we don't gain that much in approval. Let's throw some more friends their way. Discover the Ambler. Temperate, profitable excavators, exploitation. 
and they're not that far off. We're gonna dedicate our uh, time and resources to the other thing, the other dudes at the moment. We'll see about it. Okay, this should. Uh... So I need the second fertile bonus. We're gonna get it anyway. I just wanna make sure that we need it now. Okay. Uh, burr, 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 burr now. I still. So I'm pretty sure I won't be really colonizing anything else now, like from here, because yeah, the Riftborn seem to have a lot of things, so I'm gonna take my Argosy and take it there. I don't like this, There's, they keep sending the fucking colonizers. Mm. No to fan, no sir, no to fan. Might as well. Ah, so close. No matter how far. I guess. Pretty much, you discovered a new thing. Go to the new thing, mister. Okay, so we could easily merge these, right? Yeah, we could totally merge these into one. Yeah, the Argosy is gonna be okay on its own, I guess. Um, that's fair enough. Let's also get the interplanetary transport thingies. Yeah, I'm going with the Wander, I guess. Um, oh, that thing made it there. All your curiosities are belong to me. Aha, strange bosses. Beneficial things. Well, I can also see some of the Unfallen, but they didn't really want to contact me at the moment. I don't feel comfortable attacking them right now, although I should be able to do them. They, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, the, pirate, the pirate bases have entrenchments. So the thing is, planets can have like these bunkers and whatnot that can severely uh, damage attackers, and you can, don't know about them as an attacker. You can't see, you can't know. So I don't want to risk it because manpower only ever um, recharges on ships when in friendly territory. Although there is a reinforcement option that I saw later in the game that I'm not entirely sure how it comes into play. But um, yeah, we're not going to risk it. That's that's our bottom line. The cries of hawkers, the jabber of negotiations, and the clink of coins have been replaced by electronic screens and invisible by cell order. But this galactic clearinghouse for trade in luxury and strategic resources still drops with culture clashes and cutthroat commerce. Okay, so we're going with adaptive bureaucracies. Um, yeah, it's gonna give us a slight. Slightly better colonization uh, prospects do say might be a good thing to look at. I'm gonna take this branch, see what it has to offer. Okay. It's gonna be a while. A couple more turns. What can I do for you? Um. No, we're not really friendly, are we? 
Can't spare the dust, but I might get into a non-aggression pact with them. A good portion of the resources and a special action. We also discovered the Zavali. Hmm. They're VR amateurs. Don't they know it's just a gimmick? We're gonna lose one ship if we keep it there. We also met the Unfallen. They tend to be peaceful. Faction Sovereignty. Okay, so we're the so their sovereigns. I'm not sure what exactly that means. Well, we can totally assist them. Um, so we get a special action. I'll have to look into that. Um, they are giving us some pretty cool bonuses. And um, I'm actually thinking about assisting them. I might not be able to. Yeah, these dudes are gonna totally blockade me. Because they're pirates. Mean, mean pirates. We're gonna look at the strategic resources here. Yeah, let's, let's find the technology in front of each other. This is Nakos. What does it give us? Ash, gas, desert. Penny toxic. It's a five planet system, but we can't get any of it at the moment. Oh no. Uh -huh. mm. So yeah, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking we're gonna leave it here, a less uh, eventful, aside from this entire mess that happened with Duyel, the system we were so eager to colonize. So um, I think uh, it's a good place to leave it for next turn, we almost went another 18 turns, I mean if I just click on it, we're there. So yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in, and I hope to see you next time.